WJCL News, working for you. 20 years ago this weekend, Savannah was thrust into the Hollywood spotlight. Forrest Gump captivated the country, won six Academy Awards, and Tom Hanks became a household name. Terrific movie. Well, the film also set off tourism buzz to the host of city that can still be felt today. WJCL's Nick Nataria joins us with a special behind the scenes look into this very timeless classic. It sure is. You know, in the early 90s, work began on Forrest Gump in our area. And at the time, locals who helped with the film say they had no idea how popular the movie would become or how many tourists would seek out scene locations in the Hosa City. Two decades ago, it all began with a feather and this church steeple. But its stamp left on Savannah can still be felt. It just brings back memories from you know, when we first saw the movie, seeing the area and everything, it's beautiful here. This Sunday, July 6, marks 20 years since Forrest Gump was released to theaters. My name's Forrest, Forrest Gump. A film Wendy Moynihan knows well. When they say, what, have, what movies have you worked? That's probably the first one that comes to mind. Moynihan was one of the first Savannians hired to help with Forrest Gump. It was a lot of hard work. It was six days a week and we probably put in on a short day 16 hours a day. Moynihan fitted background actresses and even got mentioned in the credits. But at the time, she admits the title, Forrest Gump, didn't seem like a blockbuster, nor did it seem like it would put the hostess city on the map. We only were there two weeks. And all the rest of the time, we were in South Carolina. And so it felt much more of a South Carolina film than it felt like a Savannah film. And then once it was edited and everything, you, you really saw that it was really was more of Savannah in it than what it seemed we were doing at the time. The majority of filming in Savannah took place in Chippewa Square, of course, the famous spot where Forrest Gump was waiting for a bus. Do you want a chocolate? No, I'm okay, Forrest. Thanks, though. But if you go out to the square today, you're not going to be able to find the bench Forrest was waiting on. But Forrest Gump fans don't have to fear because one of the original movie props was brought here to the Savannah History Museum. Visit Savannah officials say the movie continues to bring people to the coastal empire. They want to know where Chippewa Square is, where the Forrest Gump bench is, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's still driving visitors to our city every single day of the week. It's not only about this bench. There are other coastal empire locations tourists seek out. <laughs> Here's a scene of Jenny wearing nothing but a guitar, singing in an adult club. But this Richmond Hill spot isn't a bar, it's steak and seafood joint loves. You can see the neon sign for the restaurant in the background as Jenny and Forrest fought. They was trying to grab you. Another business featured in the movie, Lori's Restaurant, proudly shows off its part in the film. She was walking through the restaurant with the coffee pot that says Maxwell House on it. Walking through the restaurant, you can see the, the murals, and the television was up, and she spots Forrest running. Lori's restaurant owner, Lori Smith, says the 10-second clip still drives business through her door. There are so many tourists in the city that come by and just take a picture of that. I said, I wish I had a nickel for every time they took a picture of that. Just like Forrest Gump's timeless devotion towards Jenny, it appears moviegoers still can't get enough. I can't help it. I love you. So again, if you want to see the bench or those other locations, well, really the bench, Savannah History Museum, it's there. You can't sit on it, but at least you can see it. And guys, I was looking at some history mm -hmm. trivia. Guess how much Tom Hanks was paid for the movie? Oh, I can't imagine. Two million? Twenty half million? A million? He decided to take a percentage instead of get paid, ended up with $40 million. Wow. Oh, wow. Not a bad cut. Woo! And now, businessman. Right, and now, of course, you know, we've got our box of chocolates. He should spring for the chocolates yeah. with 40 I know. million. You never know. And you know what's weird, how ironic? Mm -hmm. I especially had a lot of fun with this movie because my husband's name is Forrest. And, and I'm Jenny. Jenny. That's all we heard was, Forrest, <laughs> run, Jen. No, run, Forrest, run. Thank you, sir. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yep. All right.